What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay. Sneaker Squad! Back at it again with a brand new video. Today, we promised you it's Friday, the cooking video. My special assistant is back with me in the kitchen. Say hi, Christian. Hey, Sneaker Squad. Today, we're going to be making his favorite and my other oldest nephew's favorite, Samoan chicken. We're just going to show you the marinade process of this chicken to let you know what your ingredients are going to be. My assistant will let you know the ingredients we're going to be using for this product. So, what are we going to use, man? We're going to use... Soy sauce, garlic powder, pepper, salazón, salt seasoning, brown sugar, and pineapple juice, and onions, and the chicken. So what we're going to do is throw everything in the bowl and show you how we're going to mix all these ingredients real quick just to get you a marinating process of what we're gonna, what's going to be done. So go ahead. My sister's going to throw in the onions. We already diced them earlier. Then over here. We usually post add a lot of onions in this product says, but we try not to add too much because a lot of people in my family member do not like a lot of onions and you don't want that stinky breath for later. <laughs> okay. After we get that in there, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some pineapple. Crushed pineapple. It's best best. Add a little bit. And a little bit. Really don't measure. It's mainly just go by taste on this one. And now we're going to add some soy sauce. If I can get it. Yeah, kids, don't use knives. If you need an adult to help you out use a knife, I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> or your parents. Have your parents. My assistant, go ahead and pour I'll tell you what. Keep on going, keep on going. A little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect. Now this one. And you this this uh to make some more chicken, you're gonna need a lot of soy sauce because that's what brings in the flavor of the marinade for the chicken. That's good. Put a little bit more in there. That's why you gotta buy a big one. Now, that's good. Now the next ingredient you're gonna need for your uh, Samoan chicken, and what makes it very sweet with the salt is your brown sugar. And we got one third cup of brown sugar we're gonna add in each bowl. So we can open this real quick. Like I said, children, have an adult use a knife if you don't, can't use one in the kitchen. You ready, buddy? My assistant's gonna give a good scoop of one third cup, and we're gonna put it in. There you go. Good job. One more over here. Good job. Now we're gonna take our spoon, mix up the marinade. Really good to make sure all that sugar gets in there with your Samoan chicken and your crushed pineapples. Smells delicious. Wish you guys could smell it. Now, you're gonna take your chicken. You can use different types of chicken you want. You can use the boneless chicken breast if you like, or you can use the bone, like we use. A lot of my uh, nephews in my family like the bone le uh, legs, so it's more easier to use preference. Or you can use the wings, but it's up to you. But we like legs in our family, so what we're gonna do is take a leg, and my nephew assistant's gonna lay them out here, and we're gonna go ahead and season them up, and then throw them in the bowl. So, go ahead and take them out of there and then put them on the cutting board. Here, like this, buddy. So, we're going to give you guys a preferred review so you can see of what we're going to be doing and what he's doing. Wow, we season them up. Good job, buddy. Now, your seasonings are going to be using again salsa on, garlic, and pepper. The sazon is like a salt seasoning, so you really don't need to use salt for this. And you have a lot of salt already as it is with the soy sauce. There you go, good job. Good job, buddy. What's up, Sneaker Squad? We're back again with my assistant chef, Christian. Say Hi, what's up, Christian. Squad. Hi, Sneaker Squad. Uh, now, we had our chicken marinated for two hours. 
We're going to go ahead and take them out of the pan, uh, bowls for marinating. And what we're going to do now is bake, uh, get a foil, put it on your pan, add some baking spray so it can non-stick your chicken when you put it in the oven. You're going to preheat your oven. As you see, our oven's preheated to 375 degrees. Already hot and ready for the chicken to go inside the oven. Before we throw the chicken in the oven, you're going to want to add a little bit of the extra remains of your onions or pineapple that's in your marinade to on top of your chicken so you can have a honey glaze like caramel sauce on it. And before we throw that in there, my assistant's going to tell you the recipes that we used again. What were the ingredients? Onion, soy sauce, sazon, garlic, garlic, and, and pineapples, crushed pineapples, and brown sugar, and brown sugar from the camera person. <laughs> All right, so you can put your hand in here. It's going to be messy, but you're going to go ahead and add your extra remains of your onions and all that on your sauce. So I'm going to let my assistant finish this one off, and I'll add on this one. Go ahead, buddy. You might want to cover all the chicken and what you get on your stuff. So, And this helps your chicken with the sugar and stuff get marinated with the crushed pineapples and stuff. You can also open another can of crushed, can of crushed pineapples if you like to add it on top to get that little sweetness flavor or brown sugar. When I had uh, marinated them in the bowl, I added another extra uh, one third cup of brown sugar in it so it can get more sweetness because you have a lot of salt already in here and you want it to be really sweet for you. So you want that sweetness and saltiness when you bite into the chicken. And as you see the color right now, uh, when it comes out of the oven, it'll be golden brown. Excuse popcorn right here. He's Hungry, thinking this food's ready. <laughs> now that you got all your onion based on your chicken, you want to get a little bit more juice flavor. So my assistant's going to put the juice on all the chicken. Go ahead, buddy. Amazing. When you got a great assistant like this in the, sh in the kitchen, young future chef, let me tell you. Go ahead, buddy. As you can see, it's gonna, and we poked the little holes in the chicken, so it's gonna drain that juice right in that chicken real good. Okay, now that my assistant has actually drizzled all the chicken and we put all the onions on the on the chicken, well, we're gonna go ahead, we washed our hands, got everything prepped, and we got our oven preheated to 375 degrees. You're gonna leave it in there for about 60 minutes. And when it's done, we're gonna show you guys the finished product of the golden chicken, how, how the color will change golden brown, and you'll see that. And we're going to plate it on a bed full of beautiful coconut rice. And we're going to show you the finished product in a minute, guys. So other than that, Secret Squad, we'll get right back to you and give it up to my assistant for doing a great, lovely job. And we're going to put this in the oven right now. And, and kids, if you're doing this project at home with your family or whoever, have, and you can't touch the oven, have an adult open the oven for you and help you put them in. Other than that, me and my little man, assistant chef, we're going to do it together. And the last one right here. Great job, assistant. Thank you. And keep it clean in the kitchen. Other than that, we'll catch you guys in a bit. What's up, Jay Snicker Squad? After you have finally, your Samoan chicken has finished baking in the oven, this is the finished product. Now, we serve our Samoan chicken with a delicious coconut rice, and we have a nice, delicious, healthy side salad. But this is a finished process, guys. What I really want to say is thank you very much for joining me and my special cook assistant right here for this awesome video that we decided to do for you guys today, our second cooking video. If you love the Good Burger one and you love this we one, wanna we want to say thank you to WWE, uh, uh, the Usos, former tag team champions, for this delicious uh, family heritage recipe. But we've been doing it for our family and we love it ourselves. But me and, give it up to me and my assistant chef for our second cooking video. We really do shoes on this channel for Jay Sneaker Squad, and we want to say thank you, and thank you guys again for commenting and letting us know that you wanted to see another cooking video. If you guys want to, to, to see more cooking videos later on down along the line, like I said again, comment below at the bottom again, and me and my chef, assistant chef here will give you guys cooking videos again and secret recipes that we have of our ideas to let you guys know. Other than that, Jay Sneaker Squad, thank you for joining me and my special assistant.
And we want to say peace. Bye, Skippy Bye.